I direct the treatment research program at the Maryland Psychiatric Research Center. The treatment research program is now in its 30th year, and it was set up to treat patients who have severe mental illness, in particular schizophrenia. We see outpatients as well as having an inpatient program with 24 patients. The focus of my research has been treatment research over the past 23 years. I want to be able to change the lives of people that we treat in the state today. So we run many clinical trials of new treatments, new strategies to be able to see if they help our patients. In particular, a couple of um, focus points that we have are in, in special populations. And one of those is in treatment resistant patients. We've been very interested over a long period of time in studying clozapine. This medication has been, has been on the market for quite some time. However, there's many barriers to use. There's a lot of education lacking and we wanna be able to change that. So we've looked at clinical trials and to see how efficacious it is. We've looked at safety with clozapine. We've looked at long-term mortality with clozapine and we've looked at barriers to care. In addition to studying clozapine, we're performing several other clinical trials. One of those is looking at a gluten-free diet in people who have antibodies to gliadin, which is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. That study is in its third year and we're very excited to be able to be the first study in the U.S. to be able to look at that as a treatment for schizophrenia. The Maryland Psychiatric Research Center is a world-renowned center for the treatment of schizophrenia. Not only are we doing research here, we're also doing clinical care. And one of the unique aspects of this center is that we combines both clinical scientists and neuroscientists together looking at translational research, and that is very rare to see. So it's been a pleasure to be able to work here for the past 23 years. We've completed now over 19 clinical trials. We've helped with national guidelines, and we've helped many patients on the road to recovery.